It was all about, at the time, control of land by the Bureau, you know. We wanted more control of not only our land, but our communities and our life. Land is the most important part of the whole food chain. And we have land as Native people. So having land is still the issue and control of that land because food is going to be an issue. And water to us right now, I'm on the Treaty Council, water, big time water issue. All these communities are talking about Flint, Michigan right now. Well, my community of Sandy, where I'm from, we have not drank tap water for 20 years. 20 years. We had a generation grow up thinking out of plastic water jugs because you cannot drink the water. And that's been 20 years, and there's no solution in sight. Get serious about it. If, if water is a threat right now, it will be a threat in the future if you don't solve it. If you don't solve that issue now, it ain't going to get better. It really ain't. Poor people end up having to drink that water anyway. So we have a higher cancer rate, you know, and uh, we're told not to bathe in it. But we can't. We have to use that water. You know, to bathe, to wash our clothes in, things like that. And it has become a health issue. Uh, we're right on the Missouri River. I can look from the tribal building and see the river. You know, so, and we don't have access to it right now. You know, so it's a real issue. And the water quality isn't that great anymore either. You know, and so that's been a real, going to be the issue. You know, like you said, on water, it's all water quality, and it's a it's a the issue of the future. We just need to get serious and say, let's solve this. We can solve it. We have the skilled people, you know, but we got to be careful because we're dealing with the car Army Corps of Engineers. They have their own language, and they want us to speak their language. Where that's not what the treaty says. That's written from us. And that's where we stand. You know, this is up to us. We own to the east bank of the Missouri River. That means the river. So that's our water rights. And that's the future here. One of our slogans is always sovereignty. Sovereignty, you know, and it's non negotiable to us. You know, and good thing we felt that way. And one of the other things that was always said was the Black Hills were not for sale. That was 40 years ago. They're still not for sale. We still won't take the money. So we've been successful in the sense that we as a people have continued the next generation to steadfast and saying, we're not, the Black Hills are not for sale. You know, and that's what was good about that. That's what was being said today. So the message is still there, the issue is still there, the one of land, the one of land will never go away. The whole land issue really needs to be solved so that we know the boundaries and what we can and can do. Well, in the early 70s when this happened, there was a lot of young Native people out there. America at that time, the uh, women's rights movement was moving, the civil rights was moving, the student associations were moving, and the Indian community jumped in on it. So many of us young people said, well, let's do Many of us had nothing but our presence to offer. And that's the reason we came here. You know, all we could offer was our presence, our body. Uh, that's the most important thing is your presence. Show up, do things, be counted, be who you are, be something, but be present. Yeah, that's all you got. Well, that's all you got. You know, don't, don't think you have to offer more except for your presence. That's enough.